Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to parse a text file using Excel VBA code. Okay, so I have this text file called files.txt. So I want to analyze this file and extract some information based on some keywords. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to use the keyword CNT find this cnt keyword from this file i mean each of these files each of these lines and then if it matches extract the file name and the date it was created into an actual sheet all right this is an extraction of our dos command if you are familiar with that dos this is for an example okay for demo purpose i have extracted this text file from our dos prompt all right, uh, in real, you might have different uh, applications or different scenarios. Okay, so the purpose here is to extract the file names from this file and the date it was created only if the file name matches CNT or starts with CNT. Okay, this is one of my real term example and I've written a pretty small code and it does a job pretty well. Okay, let's see the code, how it looks like. Uh, before that, let's run this code. Okay, so this is my code. The subroutine name is import text file to Excel. You can keep whatever you want. The name of the, okay, I'll arrange, you know. Okay, so this is how it looks. This is the VBA code and this is the Excel and this is the file. Okay, I'll uh, tell you what it does. So these are the variable declaration. This is the file handle and the file name itself. Uh, I think I've not used the file name anyway. This you can ignore, right? And the column, uh, row and column name because I'm um, Parsing, I mean, I'll pass through the line and if it finds, I paste the value to the designated column and then move on. So to start with, I will paste the code into row number one and column number one. Okay, so once it is done, I will increment the row to the root by one. That means it will move on to the next row. I don't want to overwrite the same cell, so I'm incrementing the row number by one but I'm not incrementing the column number because I'm using the column number here itself the name of the file will be stored in the column number one and the date is stored in the column number two C plus one is two I can just hard code as two here but if you want to keep something else you just have to change the value here so if you keep it to Four, it starts from column number four that's D okay so I'll keep it for one now similarly if you want to keep the values somewhere else say 10 so the values will start from row number 10 okay let's see that also okay I'm gonna execute this so remember you have to be in the current sheet to execute this file I mean this code so I have used the current sheet, active sheet, sales, so and so. So it will copy the content from text file to the current active sheet. Okay, so to execute, go to the developer tab and then macros. Okay, this is the macro, it's matching with its name. Just run, say run. Okay, before that, make sure that you have double slashes here, otherwise it will not identify. So double slash is to escape one slash, right? If it is a Windows, of course, this works in Windows. Okay, let's run it. All right. So these are the values and date. Similarly, you can change the keyword. Okay, so now let's change the column row number to 10. 
Okay, I'll keep this up. Let's delete. Micros run. Yes, it starts from 10. Similarly, if you want to change the column to say 5, start from E. Execute. Yes. Okay, suppose if you want to change the keyword to something else, okay, so I'm gonna start with Krishna, it's my name. So the keyword is Krishna. Okay, find all the lines which has string Krishna and extract the file name and the Uh, date it was created okay I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna keep this to one micros okay yeah I just have uh, few lines few files similarly if I want to Statement, yeah, I have a statement. Delete. Okay, nothing is there. It's case sensitive. Yes, it was case sensitive. Oh, I'm not disclosing my account number here. Okay, so that's how you parse a text file and extract the values from a text file to Excel. And I'm actually achieving two things here. One is to analyze the file with string, whatever string I want, and extract the values from text to Excel, right? So I'm just extracting the two values Similarly, you can extract any value. And remember, I have used, uh, I have hard coded the, you know, number of string, number of uh, characters to be extracted because we have spaces here, right? You can split based on the delimiter. Say, for example, if you want to extract the uh, second part, you can use this pipe symbol to split, split on this pipe symbol and then get the second part as the name and first part will be this one again this you can split it on a space so each okay it will split on each space that means this is the first uh, column and we'll have two columns here third column fourth column and you have many spaces here this will be considered as space okay so you'll have problem here you need to carefully decide what will be the delimiter but in this case if you want to take the first column you don't have an issue straight away you can use uh, array of one that means after split so i have used here yeah no okay so split the first part and the delimiter is the space right so I will split based on these spaces and I'll extract the first value. Okay, RF0 is first value. So the index starts from zero, not from one. If you say one, it will be something else here. Okay, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any comment, please leave them below. And if you have any suggestions of what kind of macros you would like to see or get one help, want some help, Please let me know. I'll try to do that. Thank you.